hide me at all Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday you guys some babies that were just born last night. They are creme de argent babies. Uh, it's a combination between Clove and Dolce. So Clove is the mom, Dolce is the dad. Clove had six total. She had one that was dead on arrival yesterday and then she had five that were looking like they were alive and well yesterday. I haven't checked them this morning so hopefully that is still the case. We took a couple of months during the summer off and uh, you know, you just like, you get baby fever with baby rabbits and I really enjoy having them. So I'm excited to have little tiny bunny nuggets in the nest box and I am gonna pull them out and I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. Okay, hopefully they can see that. All right, so here's what her nest box looks like. She did a really good job pulling fur, but she didn't pull too much, which I'm really glad about because sometimes they get overzealous in the summer and we're not over having really hot days yet. So that is a good thing. They all look really good. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, all in here. There is a little creme de argent baby. The creme de argents are so different from the silver fox when they're born because obviously the creams are a lighter base color so they look really naked <laughs> when they're born. Look at you, you're so cute. I'm happy, honestly, that she had five because we've had some really huge litters here in the past and a lot of the times uh, we'll have a lot of casualties in those litters. So I'm hoping that we won't have like any casualties in this litter. I mean, that's hopeful thinking, but hopefully we won't have any casualties. Last night, I bred three of my does, all silver fox breedings, um, because we took most of the summer off, so we're getting busy like as soon as fall hits, so it's finally starting to cool down. I'm really wanting some October litters because I feel like October litters are like the best here in Indiana, because you know, you get your leaves changing colors and whatnot, and just all the babies, like it's just like the perfect temperature for them, I feel like, most of the time. Sometimes the weather is insane, but most of the time it's just like the perfect time to have baby rabbits, in my opinion. If any of you guys actually keep up on my rabbit names, which I know there's like so many of them, but we bred my broken doe, Zara, to Sprig, and then we bred Onyx to Tundra, um, and then we bred Mira, to my four and a half month old lilac boy, Raja, who is actually gonna be leaving me this weekend. I just, I don't even know if like he's, he's gonna be potent, <laughs> but like I wanted to try it. I just, I wanted to see if I could get some babies out of him like before he's actually gone. <laughs> it's hard to film and have coffee. Let's be real. It's, I feel like some people make it look so simple, but I put my coffee down and then I like film a whole bunch of like b-roll and Then I come back to my coffee and it's cold and has a couple of rabbit hairs in it. I Don't know how other vloggers do it But I'm drinking cold coffee now just so you know It's not hot. <laughs> so one of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about is my creme d'argents actually. But my creme d'argents are very low in number. It's hard for me to improve my lines when I have such tight-knit lines. 
And that's just one of the things with Creme de Argents that is hard to avoid because Creme de Argents are a very threatened breed. Fortunately, with Silver Foxes, they've come back from being threatened and are now, you see a lot of them at shows, um, at least the shows that I go to. We're all very enthusiastic breeders. We all want to help each other out. And so it's just been a very fun community to be a part of with the Silver Foxes. But with the Creams, it's really, really tough because most of the time I'll go to shows and I'll be the only one showing. Um, so it's not like I can just go find new stock. And even if there's somebody that lives like super close to me that has stock, it might not be the stock that I need. So I only have three creme de argents right now. I have Dolce, who is out of Camille and Peter, both of which are not here anymore. Um, I have Cassia, who is out of Camille and Brulee. Um, and then I have Clove, who is Sterling Wine, so she's not related to anybody here. Um, so that's why I brought her in, because like my bloodlines are already like super tight, so uh, I needed a doe. And so I'm trying to hold back kits from my Creme de Argent litters right now, but the problem that I run into is being a small homesteader, especially that lives in the suburbs and has to have outdoor hutches like this. Uh, I don't have enough room to expand my creme d'argents and um, after I was talking with several creme d'argent breeders a week or two ago I realized how much of a need there actually is for more people to breed creams because they are very threatened. It's really tough to find good quality stock. Uh, it's tough to find breeders that are willing to put in the work to get that quality stock. You know, you get your backyard breeders that will just sell anything. I don't really consider myself a backyard breeder that sells anything. I consider myself somebody that cares about the quality of animals <laughs> that is put out there. You know, having only one buck and two does, it's not really, it's not really gonna get me to be like a creme d'argent bre breeder that's really improving things, if that makes any sense. So what I've decided to do, and it's, it's kind of sad, it's kind of not sad, I've decided to sell off Raja, who is my lilac silver fox, um, and also to possibly sell Zara, my broken silver fox. The lilacs and the brokens aren't showable, um, they're just fun colors, and I, I love having all of the color here, but also I'm thinking that it's maybe more important to preserve a threatened breed like a creme de argent rather than to just have fun breeding different colors of silver foxes. That's not to say that my rabbits will not have uh, the color in their DNA, <laughs> um, but it's just it's just the direction that I think I'm I'm going to head after you know this fall. I did just breed Zara. I do want to have at least one broken silver fox litter, uh, and I want to see how they turn out because I mean. This is kind of something that I've decided to do, but also it's not like completely set in stone yet. Um, so we'll see what happens. Raja is leaving me for sure this weekend. And I love that boy. And I can't believe that he bred my 12 pound doe <laughs> and he's not even five months old yet. And I really, really hope that I get a litter out of those two because that would be so funny. I don't really want to sell Twix, my chocolate silver fox, because um, after convention this year, chocolates may actually be showable. Um, I think I would be kicking myself if I sold a chocolate silver fox when it's a project that I've been working on for over a year, like way over a year now. <laughs> the sun is like, the sun is threatening me. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys, I have to keep moving you because the sun is quickly moving, so I have to wrap this up. Selling my lilac and my broken will hopefully give me more room to produce more show quality silver foxes and creme d'argents. Um, I want to be able to get a new creme d'argent buck, possibly at or after convention, and really start you know, breeding them for improvement and eventually offering them up to breeders that want to get into the breed because creme d'argents are gorgeous and they are so underrated. They are slightly smaller than silver foxes. Um, but there are so many benefits to creme de argents. For one, I absolutely love their personality because I feel like creme de argents are like, they're so personable, they're so curious about everything, and when they sleep, they scare me because they look like they're dead. They literally sleep like in the deadest sleep I've ever seen, and it's, it's so funny. And uh, creams actually, like with silver foxes, um, their pelts, like if you ever, if you harvest pelts from your rabbits, 
See, with silver foxes, you have to wait until they're about 16 weeks old before their coat completely molts out and is like a, it's a dull coat. Um, but with creme d'argens, we have found that their coats are pretty much ready by 12 weeks old. Um, they silver, I don't know if it's called silver, creme d'argent coats completely frost over by the time they are about 12 weeks old. So, I mean, we've been harvesting a lot of creme d'argent pelts um, just because they are ready. They're not as thick as silver fox pelts, but they're that gorgeous orange ticked, like, it's very pretty. Like, I love their pelts. Um, and I just love them as a rabbit breed too. Um, if you guys were watching my live stream, uh, last week then I'm sure that you saw Vanilla which is Cassie's daughter and Vanilla is one of the sweetest creme d'argents I have ever produced here and I'm definitely keeping her for a while she'll be going to convention she'll be she'll be hanging out with us for just a little bit and I'm really excited about her because she has shown like the most promising demeanor she's so friendly she's so personable so uh, I'll definitely be keeping her and seeing about breeding her in the future. So guys, if you are considering getting into a breed of rabbit and you haven't really decided yet, I would definitely encourage you to look into creme d'argents because they are so gorgeous and so much fun. Uh, they make really good dual purpose rabbits and they really need help too. They really need quality breeders out there that are going to like push them forward and get them out there into like shows and just get them to be more well known. So uh, that is my goal for my creme d'argents. And so it's it's kind of sad that we're selling out, out of our, our lilac and possibly our broken in the future, but it's also not sad because it means that I get to help out a threatened breed that really, really needs the publicity. It really, really needs the help. So. That's what we're doing, and I just wanted to let you guys know. Well guys, since the sun is like full force after me now, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go. Um, but yeah, so Creme d'Argents, they're amazing. You guys should look them up, see what you think of them. I love them, but I am gonna get off of here. I hope that you learned something new. I hope you have a wonderful day. You are valuable, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.